Hey guys, Cosmos here from Kabam Server for Europe and in this video we're gonna be changing equipment sets from level 50 PvE set to level 60 PvE set. So a while ago there was the event to buy uh, arena set items and exchange them for uh, PvE set items. So that's where the base items came from. So I have here in my bag um, the staff, the hat, the body or the robe and the brooch for the 60 set and I, I had made them a legendary this the staff and the armor or the robe um, and I wanted to make at least the helmet also the hat also into legendary because um, I don't know if you've realized that basically you have the the staff or the weapon it's giving you offensive power. The armor and the um, the, the helmet um, parts, they're giving defenses. So I really wanted to get both of these legendary. And the brooch is always giving health. So um, it's for me the last priority and I can easily live with it not being legendary. So that's why I really uh, I was waiting to gather enough materials for, for the hat. And what I was missing more was the insignia actually. And um, so I have a bunch of insignia saved up here. You see I don't have a medallion. That's also one of the reasons why I don't have it is because every single insignia I could get my hands on. I was saving up for the equipment upgrade. So I'm uh, easily running around without medallion. I have now around 100,000 bell rating with uh, academy at 155%. Uh, so I could uh, easily um, have a higher one with medallion also on top of it. So and for the legendary stones I have 358 legendary stones here basically doing Moonival dungeon. If you're ever short on time um, for doing dungeons just do one or two mini bosses and quit. If you just do that you already get the, the vast majority of the benefit from the dungeon. Uh, so just do that if you're short on time even one boss is good you know better than nothing at all and it all adds up so I have a whole bunch of legendary stones so they are no longer a problem for me and um, insignias are an issue so if we have a look at uh, synthesis and then legendary equipment and we're gonna take 60 set the hat and we see that I have one out of one here, the sage hat. I got all the legendary stones that I need, um, but I don't have the epic helmet shards. I need 15 of those. So for level 60, make sure you don't buy the wrong ones. I've done that mistake and it was terrible. There's nothing you can do about it. Nobody can complain to because you are the one who made the mistake. So don't buy the wrong item. So even look at like because uh, sometimes when you're sleepy or whatever um, disoriented or <laughs> I don't know anything you can uh, it can easily make a mistake so have a look like uh, that at, at the color of the item like this is bluish there is a kind of a, a, a hat or a helmet drawn on it and it's it has to say level 60 and it has to say helmet so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go buy 15 of these so we're gonna go arena shop arena um, there it is so we got the level 40 it's yellow you see and then we got all of a sudden it's like all very badly arranged by the way you got level 70 then level 60 uh, 70 again then we're back to 60 and there it is bluish uh, level 60 epic helmet short that's the one I need I it costs 800 per piece I need 15 of these so that's gonna cost me 12,000 insignia. I have 16,000, so that's good. So I'm gonna um, build that up so that I can do also upgrade the brooch later on. Because now it's not gonna be enough for the brooch, which is fine. So I'm gonna go back to synthesis. I also have a heap of gold, so almost 9 million gold on me. So I can upgrade this to legendary. Now all is good, it's gonna take um, almost a million off from me, 700k, but it's all in plan. So I'm very happy about that, you also in the chat window you get that announcement which is very nice. Now it's almost 2 a.m. at night here for me, so everybody is sleeping, so not too many congrats at all, or not, oh there's one, that's good. Um, 
and there's another one so that's good uh, it's a big thing so uh, the backspace opened up which is awesome because I'm always running out of backspace I have all these soul crystals I'm gonna make another video for soul crystal soul engraving so that's gonna happen there now uh, it's already at plus 18 in, in previous videos I opened up the sockets and I did the refinements on the refinement video guides so they're all good to go but I still need to, um, uh, of course, in, in enchant them. So I'm gonna do that straight away. So where? Oh, now there's <laughs> so many yellow things because um, now here I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a tiny E on the top right. So that's something that's already equipped. E stands for equipped. Um, so the thing I'm looking for is that it doesn't have an E. So always the first items are the ones which you equip and here are my legendary items so um, the robe is already plus 30 the staff is already plus 30 now that now now is the turn of the hat and actually for 300,000 gold it would be good if I use level 9 luck stones so I don't lose it at all but it's gonna be quite a bit of them so uh, from plus 18 to plus 30 there's 12 more in chance so 12 more luck stones so you better have enough of those if you ever run out you can always do fishing for level 5 luck stones or if you're crazy you can uh, you can buy um, you can buy them um, <laughs> because uh, why I say crazy because of course from the fishing you can get them um, easy no nowadays especially if you've already worked on your fishing and it's on high enough level you can get a whole bunch of level 5s which you can synthesize higher so let's Put the hat and the level 9 luck stones because you know don't want to waste that gold um, sometimes um, and I must say if I feel lucky I do go ahead with level 8 luck stones because it, it gives a 90% success chance which is high enough and and sometimes I if I'm low on level 9 stones I just go ahead with level 8 uh, because they're much easier to dub two times easier to get and um, and most of the time they work almost as good as level 9s but of course there is that 10% chance so you don't want to um, you know lose lose the gold for no reason if you have enough of the level 9 luck stone so here we go um, the good thing here also some people who do it really fast don't realize if you put your mouse on it it actually tells you by how much uh, here you see with the arrows, um, it, it tells you how, by how many points it's going to go up. So these are, uh, you see on the left here it says physical defense 936, magical defense 936. And it's going to go up by 34 points per enchant level. So of course the gold is also going to be taken. I'm going to go all the way to maximum. If of course I have enough gold, it's dropping down quite fast but it should be okay let's see it's already 26 27 and one more i think yep and we are good to go max enchantment reached so that's so that's good we're at plus 30 now with the hat uh, I'm gonna grab a socketing rod from because with legendary of course I get one more slot for for the gems I'm gonna grab uh, one out of these 42 socketing rods from the vault and open up that slot in the hat so now I got 4444 which is good now um, I should be okay with switching uh, the equipment straight away uh, of course I need to redo the gems so that's important and I like to keep them exactly the same way so uh, I'll do it one by one what I want to remember right now is my bell rating because I'm curious to know the difference actually there are many factors in play because item refinements are, are really good on my uh, 50 set because it's much easier to get those refinement crystals like look at this hat level 10 on on uh, on most things level 9 on one of them it's really good I tried to make good enchantments on on these items as well but they're definitely not as good so that can affect the bell rating but they are um, 
higher level so i do expect the bell rating to go up certainly because it's 10 level higher uh, 10 levels higher equipment so from 50 set to 60 set legendary legendary um, but i will be missing out on the brooch so i'm actually curious with all these factors with item refinements um, and, and the item stats um, and, and the brooch being uh, not legendary uh, so i'll lose one gem there for sure um, so I'm, I'm curious of how far it'll go so I'm at 100,500 uh, or 600 something like that I'll try to remember 100,000 so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it one by one so oops I'm gonna go to socket and I'm gonna put um, my staff so here I got um, magical defense now the good thing with um, with these gems is the moment you um, unsocket them they come at the bottom so if, if, it, if it was um, kind of the similar ones as they are here uh, of course it'll be um, a bit tougher to find but when they're at the bottom it's, it's not that bad at all it's quite easy so um, I, I always like to put the magic um, or, or if um, I should say offense the offense gem first um, so magic attack if you're mage uh, physical attack if you're an archer or knight I will always like to put that first because I never would remove it let's say um, then uh, for mage I would put physical defense magic defense and critical so all in this order um, and that's my and the last gem is my joker gem means like if I change something it'll be the last one so that's the staff so let's do the, um, the helmet so and I'll do them in the same order as well so attack physical defense magic defense and crit and then um, the armor or the rope So next one, magic and crit. Now the bridge is going to be the, the tough one because here I have four gems so I have to sacrifice something and in this case I'm probably going to sacrifice magic defense because as a mage I have a lot of physical, uh, a lot of uh, magic defense already. So I'm going to keep the crit um, as a knight uh, or archer. Archer, of course, you have to keep the crit. As a knight, I might consider getting rid of the cr um, crit, actually. So let's get rid of these and put up the brooch. I'm going to take that, that and that. And the last slot will be left then for magic defense. So um, sockets are done. So now let's replace the items. And we are up like two thousand less than two thousand bell rating, which is, you know, I kind of expected that. I thought it'll be a little bit higher than that, but I definitely didn't expect like ten thousand more. Um, so I'm wearing them all just to check. Yes, yeah, sixty, 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 and sixty. They're all on. This can be sold off. Uh, usually the previous equipments get um, get sold off to give you the, the gold to enchant the newer equipment um, but um, I, I'm kind of a person who also have some nostalgia value to things so um, as long as I don't need the gold straight away or urgently I kind of like keeping the items I used to have also uh, it, it works with my hoarder mentality so if I have space um, I'll, 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 I'll store them up in the, in the vault or maybe put something out and put these in um, and I think I can find some space on my mage and these ones are gonna you see at the bottom there if I sell them I'll get a 3 million gold I think yep 3 million for each so um, so that's not too bad that's 12 million gold so if I need to do something else where gold will be needed these will be the first ones to go it's also a very safe uh, gold deposit that nobody can steal from you in <laughs> so it's 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 good to have it um in, you know, like one slot for three million gold not too bad so that's it you guys so i'm with my 60 set now and i'll be working on making insignias uh, for for the brooch 
so I have one two three almost four thousand and as you saw I need fifteen um, fifteen of them uh, so I needed twelve thousand so I need a, a whole bunch more so um, because I'm, I'm I'm very very busy maybe um, I'll, I'll just gather them up slowly via guild battles um, or if it's on sale maybe I'll buy it with balance I don't know so uh, I'm not too much in a rush for that because uh, for me a health is the the last priority or uh, the, than, than the health so um, so that's the thinking behind it now um, also um, difficult will be to replace all the rings in jewels I'll definitely 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 start with jewels first I recommend that to you also if you're doing this kind of stuff because jewels are responsible for um, your offensive power and the rings are uh, giving additional health like the brooch so that's why you want to increase your offensive power first these ones of course on this side they go with um, they require crypt tokens while your equipment requires insignias for upgrades so so that's a distinction I do have a bunch of crypt tokens a whole bunch of them actually so um, I can definitely synthesize them let's just have a look uh, I don't remember by heart so um, why am I looking here let's look at legendary upgrade so um, the jewel for example for the level 60 set so I'm gonna need the base jewel of course and I'm gonna need this jewelry shards and, and these are in the cata shop I think so uh, we can have a look at that but the 80 um, level 80 set is the only exception which which deviates from the rule otherwise you'll find all those shards here so you see here 50 and of course the 80s are here but like I said 80 is an exception where is 60 so 60 is over here so epic uh, epic jewelry shard so I'll need a whole bunch of these so if I do purchase 15 I think it was 2400 crystals I have 6000 so I can definitely do uh, two jewels perhaps so I'll do that later on because I'm also sleepy and I also need to do the soul crystals first but I'm already happy wearing the um, the 60 set uh, on me so that makes me stronger and also I can switch off the clothing to have a look uh, the 60 sets look nice as well so actually in honor of the 60 set I might just walk around let's have a look at us chamber sometimes you know um, the the stand the standard equipment designs are, are very nice uh, for example for the night the 80 set design I really like and and often uh, I, I switch off the clothing uh, to to have that nice rugged masculine um, look at it uh, look basically so so that's that so i hope you guys enjoyed this nice equipment switching video and the tips that i gave in in, in between and um thanks for watching of course please do click on like and subscribe below the video if you enjoyed and and share with your friends um also bookmark my my main website dollygames.com i got everything linked off from there so that's the only thing you need to bookmark um, you, uh, and, and you can follow my Facebook or Google Plus and uh, if you want to come and play on this server you can come to um, Kabam server for Europe or you can Google Kabam Warchun and if you want to check out some, some other games uh, just go to kabam.com there's a whole list of games you can check out um, but yeah for Warchun you gotta come here so that's it you guys thanks for watching and have a very nice day